have you seen the CM Punk uh, Young Bucks uh, melee altercation fight brawl? There was many nicknames. Well, again, I think it goes back to um, how much of a good thing can you can you eat, and how long can you eat it, and how long does it taste just as good as the very first bite? It never does. So eventually, it's going to get. Uh, to be routine or stale or commonplace. And AEW, when they started out, they had a niche audience. They still have a niche audience. And you have people who who enjoy the, that style and, and enjoy the uh, product. And as, as well, they should, to each his own. But at the same time, uh, I think you're starting to see when there's no one really in charge, Um this is what happens. And you would almost, I can remember back years and years ago when uh, somebody would have a dispute or a problem with somebody else. And I know you've heard this story before with Butch Reed and uh, the Barbarian in Louisiana and uh, Bill Watts. You know, this was before the internet, before cell phones and cameras and stuff like that. But Bill Watts got Barbarian and Butch Reed in a, in a room by themselves and said, you guys work it out because you're, you're hurting business. They didn't want to work together in the ring. So they, he told them, work it out. And they both came out with black eyes and and there was never a problem since then. Uh, and nobody made a big deal out of it. That was just the way it was handled. Maybe it's barbaric compared to what's going on today. But at the same time, I believe that that worked, that system worked. And you're trying to please everybody and allowing just anybody to walk into professional wrestling these days. And quite honestly, and I, I mean, no, I, I, I don't know how it sounds. And I don't really care at this point, but not everybody should be in this. Not everybody should even try to be a professional wrestler, if you really, especially if you're going to be on a national uh station or national recognition, whatever it is, because there's got to be somebody to lay the law down. You're going to have egos. It's entertainment. It's, it's uh, showbiz. You're going to have egos no matter where you go. So you need to have somebody have them in check or know how to deal with them when they explode, I guess. And poor Tony Khan, I never really heard him talk. I'd never really seen him do anything, but I watched the press conference Mm -hmm. um and he kind of cringed a few times yeah you know so i mean that can't be easy on him either but you have to have somebody the buck stops there and if not you know you're going to have volatile situations like this especially when you have people who believe they're right on both sides doesn't matter who's right is, is going to be the guy you're who's paying you or knows what to what to do to, to draw money and draw business. Uh, somebody, I, I don't know the comments I read or whatever it was, uh, <clears throat> where they were talking about it's personal issues that always sold uh, tickets and things like this and got people interested. Well, it, this has been more interesting than what's been going on on the show because people have a sense that it's authentic, that it's real, it's genuine. Yep. And you got to believe it is because that's punk. And I'm sure the Young Bucks don't take too kindly to uh, punk saying what he said, doing what he did. But that's why, you know, people used to get their feelings hurt all the time. I got my feelings hurt every day when I was wrestling. So, my God, that's what this is. Get over it, guys. Or, or do business or whatever it may be. But but to, to come out and uh, say it publicly, not only – I don't think Punk was the guy who fired the first shot. I thought it was Page, maybe Hangman yes. Page when he got in Punk's yep. face. I'm Just yep. what I've been, been keeping up with. So, you know, when you say stuff like that, you can't expect somebody to just sit on it like, like a CM Punk who's, who's passionate and confident in who he is. Uh, so what, what, I, I'm not quite sure what they were expecting. If they thought he was just going to uh, not be active in what's happening and in, in what he's doing there, and well, they, they were sadly mistaken. So it's cra it's a crazy time. I, 
you, I, I remember the days when, when guys would settle it between themselves and that was all, all you had to really do this way. It makes everybody look like idiots to me. It really does. Um, right, wrong, indifferent, but the whole company doesn't, it doesn't look good. Uh, it may give them some interest and it may, they may come out stronger. I don't know, but it doesn't look good when you have you guys, you're suspending guys for fighting and throwing the, who threw the first punch and, and who did what, and who said what, <sighs> come on. I mean, that's, that's what I feel about it. It's like, come on. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Twitter at the Hannibal TV for instant updates.